The room we're in now is the Marquis Suite. It occupies the, the two most important rooms of the 19th century palace. The first, the room we're in now, the ballroom, is a room which has preserved its original 19th century appearance. It was not only where balls, grand dinners and official receptions were held. Remember that the first Marquis of Carra once held the position of Mayor of Valencia, but it was also where important meetings were held. It was decided that this room would be decorated with French-style coffering. The style is considered somewhat antiquated for the period, but in this way, this decoration reflected the Marquis's pro-Bourbonic colours, that's to say, his allegiance to the king. If you consider that the Marquis acquired this building in 1869 at auction, it was an era of certain political upheaval, and one which gave rise to constant debate between the virtues of a monarchy and a republic. So, what he wished to convey with this coffering was, as then, that his family were clear monarchists or Bourbon supporters. Adjacent to this room is the Marchioness's tea room. The Marchioness was from a noble and very influential family of traders and landowners in the Riquena area of Valencia. Their surname was Ferrer de Plegamans. So, two great families were united. On one side, the García Caros, of the Marquis of Caro, and on the other, the Ferrer de Plegamans, his wife's wealthy family of landowners. To highlight this fact, the Marquis commissioned an enormous canvas to be painted on the ceiling of the tea room, depicting an allegory of agricultural work, which conveyed the family's status as landowners. You must remember that at the end of the 19th century, owning land meant having money. Today, it is not necessarily the case, but it was almost certainly then. So, when people entered these rooms, on the one hand they understood that the owners were pro-Bourbon, or in other words monarchists, and on the other that they were wealthy. We have respected the ar architecture of both rooms and we have created them in 3D so that you have a better insight into how they were decorated in their day.